In this video, I'm going to show you how to place a new transaction. Please note that I'm using the default configuration I have imported on the previous video. By importing the pre-configured store, Gilas creates two layouts for us containing some items. Once again, you can easily add or remove items or layouts and basically have full control over customizing your store. For more information on setting up your store, please check our help and documentation. By default, services like dry cleaning and alterations are added to the services tab and products are added to the products tab. We can add services or products to a transaction by either selecting them on screen, searching their name, or scanning their barcode. Let's say a customer brings us two pairs of trousers to be shortened and dry cleaned, and a bag of wash and fold. We start by selecting trousers and then shorten normal. Now we need to add dry cleaning. To add a new task to an existing item, we click on the Add To button here, and then select Dry Clean. In order to set the quantity, we need to click on Edit, and set the quantity using these buttons, or by editing the quantity field. We can also use this page to add notes or apply discounts. Note that we can either enter the surcharge or discount manually, or use one of the predefined discounts or surcharges we have added before. Also, we can type notes or use one of the predefined notes we created earlier. This will greatly improve your data entry speed, and it prevents typos. Also note that we can either apply the discount or surcharge to one item as demonstrated, or to the entire transaction using this button. The same concept applies to the notes. You can either have notes on one item or the entire transaction. Now I'm also going to add two and a half pounds of wash and fold to the transaction. Note that here we should change the weight and not the quantity. I'm also going to add some products to this transaction for demonstration purposes, so I select the Products tab and add a product I sell. As you can see, products are added in a single step, but adding the trousers is done in several steps, helping us fine-tune the data entry. We can choose to have multiple steps or just a single step, depending on your preference. Gilas provides you with unlimited data entry steps to help you set up your business according to your requirements. Let's continue on by clicking on the Pay button. On the left panel, you can see a summary of the transaction. On the right panel, we can set the date and time for collection or payment. Due date time is used by Gilas to help make sure jobs are ready before the customer comes in for collection. Finalize the transaction by either selecting a payment method or one of the buttons here. Note that these buttons are disabled because we've not selected a customer yet. Customers can be added either on the cart or the pay page. We start adding a new customer by using the search button here. We can search a customer by phone number, name, or by scanning their loyalty card. I enter the name and last name in the search box. We highly recommend to always use a phone number to search for a customer because of its unique nature, especially if you're not using a loyalty card system. Note that since the customer doesn't exist in the system, Gilas gives me the option to add it. So I click on Add to add the customer. Display name, first, and last names are automatically populated, and I just need to add the phone number. Display name is the name displayed upon searching for the customer. Entering a display name is mandatory when adding a new customer. Please note that you can use display name to enter a company name for your commercial customers. Gilas also allows you to add an unlimited number of extra fields to save additional information about the customer. This information could be anything from customer's measurements to their preferences. The extra fields could also be added to your print or emails. After entering customer details, I click the check button to save. The customer is now saved and added to the transaction. Let's say the customer is going to pay $100 up front and the remainder upon collection. I simply type $100 in Amount Paying Now text box and then click on Cash. The Amount Paying Now text box is updated as well as the payments and total due at the bottom. Gilas is waiting for us to choose what to do for the remainder. 
pay by another payment method or pay later. I'm going to select on account to have it paid later. The transaction is successfully submitted and we will be redirected to the overview page. This page shows you an overview of the transaction, including the automatically allocated transaction IDs. Please note that this fairly complex transaction has been allocated three transaction IDs. This means you can have a separate auto incremental ID for each category. If you wish, you can modify the default behavior to have only one sequential ID for all your transactions and categories. Please check our documentation on how to set up categories for more details. By default, we have some automated actions to be processed upon placing a new transaction. Automated actions are one of the most powerful features in GLIS that can do things like printing, opening the cash drawer, sending an email or follow-up message after a few days, or even setting the job done. Please look up actions in our help and documentation for more details. Automated actions are going to print the receipts and open the cash drawer here. You can prevent automated actions by removing their checkboxes on each transaction. Clicking the check button on the top will process automated actions and start your next transaction. We have successfully placed a new transaction into GLIS. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to find your transactions and mark them done, collected, or paid.